Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Borchardt reporting for Afweb and Flieger magazine from Aero Friedrichshafen 2014. We are here at the booth of uh, Valkanair, an Italian company known for the twin P68. And they are presenting a single engine design at a really attractive price. The V1 is supposed to come out real soon, it's certified already at $250,000 uh, only. And here's Remo De Feo from Valkanair to explain the details of the aircraft. So basically, we are, uh, this year we're introducing the Vulcanair V1, which is a four-seater certified aircraft. And our idea was to, uh, we have two ideas uh, in terms of uh, new aircraft. We wanted to get a very low-cost introduction, introductory aircraft for the general aviation market. The main uh, uh, focus is, is for us to uh, be able to offer a certificated aircraft that has four seats f that sits in between the LSAs and the upcoming certified four-seater aircraft. So basically it would be something in between, in terms of pricing, between LSAs and a Cessna 172 and other upcoming aircraft. The pricing, um, we are now saying that the, our target price is, for, is about 200,000 euro, depending on exchange rate. We're talking in the uh, range of 250,000 US dollars. That includes a Garmin 500. It includes a, a full digital engine monitoring system from JPI, a, a digital backup um, digital instrumentation from uh, Mid-Continent, the new SAM, and um, um, the, the, the engine is powered by Lycoming, uh, it's a 180 horsepower uh, uh, Lycoming IO360 M1A, which we selected uh, because it has a, a possibility of using alternative fuels or, or MO gas. And in fact, we're also um, designing the, the fuel system in order to be able to, to, to withstand vapor lock. So we'll be testing that very shortly. It's a high wing, so in any case, the vapor tends to go towards uh, the, the, the fuel tanks. So the idea is to have a uh, mechanically sound and conventional aircraft. We have a steel cage, soldier steel cage that protects the, 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 the passengers and, and the pilots. A wing that is aluminum riveted. We all, have, uh, we all only use strap riveting. So it's a quality a standard, um, uh, aeronautical standard components. So we have uh, steel, a steel landing gear that can be abused and um, a relatively roomy aircraft. As you can see, I'm uh, six, six feet and I can stand under the wing. It's a big airplane for, 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 what, for what it is. And uh, I can cruise for, uh, at about 140 knots, uh, four people, full fuel for about two hours. So it's a decent two, two and a half hours. We believe that it's, um, we are looking at a different approach from other manufacturers, meaning that we would like to offer something different. So it's a mix between new and conventional aircraft. Lots of value in terms of avionics and lots of value in terms of durability. But of course, why? Because we have the ability of doing so, because we have some designs that we have used from our, from, from our assets that we have as a company and that has uh, given us the opportunity of reducing uh, dramatically the development costs and we have the, the chance of having an aircraft that is already certified. We have uh, the, the standard package has a, a GPS NAVCOM and we can add another uh, NAVCOM to add uh, fully IFR for the US and of course uh, DME and ADF for Europe. Okay, the aircraft is already certified in Europe and we are now uh, we are completing the tooling. So as, as you can see, this is a production aircraft. It's not completed <laughs> because it's actually going to go back in the production line. And in six months, we will be able to to start the initial deliveries in Europe. And uh, right after that, we will start the validation process with the FAA because the aircraft has never been certificated by the FAA, and it will be a bilateral agreement. So we are hoping that by next year we'll be able to deliver in the U.S. And in the meantime, we are doing uh, different validations between EASA and uh, third countries, for example, uh, emerging countries where there is a big market for this aircraft at the moment.